Hey everyone, Miss P here, and I'm back with another music DIY project. Today, we are going to make a water xylophone. It's going to sound just like our xylophones, glockenspiels, and boomwhackers at school. Give it a listen. First, you will need six water glasses. It's okay if they're not the same size. Put the largest on the left and the smallest on the right. You will also need two forks, as well as a full pitcher of water. In order to make your water xylophone look like our xylophones and boomwhackers at school, add food coloring. If you don't have food coloring, no problem. Your instrument will still sound wonderful. Now that we have our materials together, we can begin to add water to the glasses. The more water we add, the lower the pitch of the glass will be. Because we want our first note to be our lowest note, let's fill it all the way to the top. they are now going to be your mallets. Gently strike the edge of each glass from largest to smallest and see what happens to the pitch. The pitch went up. You got it. It's just like our glockenspiel, xylophones, and boomwhackers at school. If I use two forks at a time, I can play in harmony. Harmony is when a pleasing combination of two or more notes are played at the same time. Check this out. Now that we've played our instrument, I can tell that some of the glasses need to be tuned. Tuning is when musicians alter pitches on their instrument by making them higher or lower so that all the pitches can work together in a key. Listen to glass one before we take water out. Now listen after. See how it's higher? Let's see if it sounds better with these first few glasses. We fixed it. Good job. I also noticed that our last glass sounded too high. So I'm going to add water to make it sound lower. Listen to glass six before we add water. Now adding water. Let's see what it sounds like after. Do you hear how it's lower? Let's play the whole scale from the first to the sixth glass and see if it's in tune. Great job, musician. Doesn't it sound better? Use your ear to tune your water xylophone and decide if you need to remove or add water to any of your glasses. Just remember, each glass needs to receive less and less water. With just these six notes, you can play so many songs. Let's see if you recognize this one. You guessed it. Old McDonald. What about this one? Yeah, Mary.
Perry Had a Little Lamb. For our third song, we're gonna play a New Orleans classic, When the Saints Go Marching In. Before I play, let's check out the music together. Notice how it's color-coded and there are numbers on the bottom. For instance, if I see a red note with a one, I know to play the first glass. If I see a lime colored note with the number four, I know to play the fourth glass. While I play the melody, you follow along in the music. Keep watching for more music to play on your water xylophone. You'll see that it's color and number coded just like we practiced. Make sure to take a video of yourself playing your new instrument. I would love to hear you perform. I miss you so much. Thanks for tuning in.